These days, almost anybody can make a game. With a simple idea, a splash of knowledge and a sprinkling of practice, anything is possible. In fact, some of the best games we know and love today started out as just that, a simple idea which evolved constantly. One thing all games have in common though is that they all use some form of assets. Whether it be a soundbite, a texture, a character model or something else, it really doesn't matter what engine you're using either, you're going to need assets one way or another. Sometimes though, the quality of your asset can make a huge impact on your game. If it's a really low quality asset, it's going to take a lot of work to make a high quality game. So what would you rather do, spend a lot of time trying to make low quality assets look better or use higher quality assets? But a lot of high quality assets these days are going to cost you a pretty penny and that's something a lot of us don't have. I know I certainly don't have any money to pay for professional assets, I am just a low level YouTuber after all. And while it is true that you can indeed get free assets from asset stores like in Unity or Unreal, other third party websites are often forgotten about simply because the asset stores are so much easier to access than these websites. In fact, a lot of developers probably don't even know that these other websites exist. So for the purposes of this video, we are going to pretend that the asset stores do not exist. But that isn't advice, please don't pretend that the asset stores don't exist, in fact please don't believe the asset stores don't exist because they do exist and they are good resources. But here are 5 places you can go and get free assets from right now. Itch.io is well established in the indie gaming world, and although there has been a little controversy around its support system, it's generally a great place to go and look for assets. It is 100% community driven, meaning that everything you get on there has been created by somebody else rather than Itch themselves. There is plenty of paid assets on there, and you'll definitely find some free assets as well. Some creators even offer free samples of paid assets just in case you're tempted to buy something and I think that is a wonderful idea. You'll find plenty of games on there too as it's mainly a platform for indie gaming but the assets section is always growing and on occasion you can find actual games to play with the free assets and that way you get a good feel of how the assets that you're about to use could look in your game. Freesound is an excellent place if you're on the hunt for some sound effects. Good sound effects are often said to either make or break some parts of a game and when you think about it logically, having just one simple sound effect could make a massive impact to your game. Just imagine if Pac-Man didn't have the sound effect of him eating his pills, or if Sonic didn't have the sound effect of him collecting a ring. In fact, even just having a simple sound effect as feedback whenever you click something on a menu can be quite a deal breaker. And yes, background music to a game is highly crucial too. And yes, you can find some on free sound as well, and all sorts of different sound bites. The sheer amount of audio files that you could sift through to find what you need is just staggering. Users are free to upload any form of sound clip onto their account and grant access for anybody to listen to it and then download it. So listening to a soundbite before you download it is a really good idea. It is community driven and I know the whole concept sounds real simple but I am easily impressed. The next entry on this list is, well, you. If you're capable of using something like Blender, you can easily create your own assets. In fact, you don't even necessarily need to use a computer to make your own assets. How? Well, why not create your own voice acting on your phone? Or maybe record your own sound effects? Or maybe even draw your own pixel art? Yes, I know that uses a computer, but you see the point I'm trying to make here. Maybe take a few photographs of the sky and create your own skybox. The level of authenticity and originality in creating your own assets is high. You'll also get a sense of self-satisfaction from creating them too. The serenity you feel from sitting in MS Paint creating your own pixel art listening to the offspring is good for your mental health. Well, it is for me at least. Because sometimes it's just great to get so involved with your game while listening to your favourite music. Mixamo is a highly underrated resource for character models and animations. Part of Adobe, Mixamo provides you with hundreds of models that you can use for characters, 
NPCs, monsters, and anything else really. There are literally thousands of animations that you can apply to each model too, along with many exporting options so you can easily customise your character model to a high degree. The options it gives you to customise those animations before you download it too is incredibly helpful. So you've built a game, it looks great, but you're missing a good looking main character. Just head to Mixamo, find the right model for you, get all the animations you need and voila! Import the model and animations into your engine and you're good to go. New models and animations are added from time to time, although not as often as some other places we've mentioned. There's always really, really high quality assets available there. They are incredibly versatile as well. Definitely want to check out for models. Have you ever heard the name Kevin MacLeod? Maybe, maybe not. Well, I can guarantee you've heard music he has created. Incompetech is a website created by Kevin where you can go and download royalty free music. A lot of royalty free music. There's well over a thousand music assets that you can download for free. The only caveat is that you must credit Incompetech if you do use any of the audio files. You can also download every single audio file in one zip file for a fee, but that is completely optional. I recommend just going through and listening to random things because it's amazing what you'll find. It's not just game developers who use his music too, it's anybody who creates content. Even YouTubers use his music in the background of their videos. Except for me, this music you're hearing isn't in Compotech, it's my own. Well, it's AI. So whether you're creating a fun 2D platformer or a survival horror game, you'll find multiple music assets which suit your needs. So, there were 5 places you can go to and find free assets for your game right now. It's safe to say that if you use any of these assets you've obtained from websites or asset stores, it's always good practice to credit the original creator, and in some cases it is required like in Compitech. So if you end up getting a sound clip of a screaming sheep to use as a sound effect in your game, be sure to credit the person you got it from. It also goes without saying that if you feel like being a contributor on any of these asset sites or asset stores, then you should definitely do it. Why not? What's holding you back? We're never too short of assets in the game development world, especially if you're offering them for free, or at least a low fee. Are there any places you get your assets from which you think should have been included on this list? I know there are loads of other places, so if you do use another one, please let me know in the comments below.